problem is this indicator isn't working and you're supposed to be able to change the bulb by putting your hand up there go into the back of the bulb twisting it anti-clockwise 45 degrees and pulling it off but A you need a hand the size of a newborn baby B the strength of Hercules and C mine wouldn't come off so what I'm going to do is remove the whole headlamp unit which means removing the whole of the bumper so the first thing to do is under each wheel arch undo these two we're looking at a T20 hopefully they come off easy which it does Nothing hidden under there. There's one up at the top. Yep, that's easily pullable. Same round the other side. Once all those are off, you need to undo the three. 10 millimeter bolts that hold the big plastic engine cover thing on. So I'll take them off. Once those three bolts are off, there's supposed to be two more somewhere, but it appears mine are missing anyway. So that's it for me underneath the car. Now we need to go under the bonnet. Now under the bonnet we need to remove the plastics across the front which is just a case of putting a screwdriver in turning it and then trying to prise it out and do that for the plastics across the front once the plastic covers off, there are yet more of those types of clip that you need to undo. If, and if your car's anything like this one, they'll smash and fall to pieces just as mine have. Once they're all out, gently start pulling the grill away from the car. There are some hidden catches somewhere. They'll be very gentle otherwise you could break them. Once you've got the bumper off disconnect the fog lamp switch so you can pull the bumper away from the car. So the bumper's now off. The bumper's now off. Front of the car exposed. Now I need to remove this headlamp so I can get to the indicator bulb. Big Torx by the looks of it there. There should be another one on the side. There should be another one on the side. And one underneath. There's the one underneath. That's two and there's another one somewhere. Maybe there. So I should undo those. I don't have the right size torque setting for this. So I used a four millimeter Allen key. Unfortunately, this one's loose enough for it to work. So I should use an Allen key. Once those three bolts are removed, 
there's just a couple of wires that you have to disconnect and then you can lift the headlamp unit out and do with it whatever you need to do so putting it back together again was straightforward enough just hook the bumper back on remember to connect the cable to the back of your fog lamps the back of the headlamp if you removed it one thing I would remind you of is to make sure that your bonnet release catch comes through that hole because mine didn't and I had to like stretch this out with a screwdriver and stick my finger up and push it through but it's an easy enough job not that hard a couple of hours work if you just go at it but it's still a hassle to change a bulb